This is another new Black World Order TV Productions. Uh-huh. Chopper, chopper. Grand Rising family, what's happening? This is part two of Kanye. It's right. Is Kanye really, 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 really right? So on part one, we looked at different ways wherein our enslavement could be considered a choice. So on part two, I want to talk about some of the people that are slamming um, Kanye's statements, such as the members of the Nation of Islam, or let's say members of the Hebrew Israelite community, right? So Kanye's uh, statement is, is that slavery was a choice for those who were enslaved, right? On part one, I showed you that there were other people that were involved whom the definition of the word choice will fit right into the, his uh, statement. But the enslaved humans at the end of the day had no choice in the matter. But let's take a look at the Hebrew Israelite perspective on this situation. Deuteronomy 28 and the Hebrew Israelites interpretation of Deuteronomy 28 sounds sort of similar to Kanye's statement. For if our disobeying the law, statutes, and judgments and commandments of the Most High led to us being in slavery, and if we made a choice to break the law, then the Israelites are in fact saying that we made a choice to be in slavery. So slavery is a choice according to Kanye and according to the Hebrew Israelites. Now, the Nation of Islam doctrine, right, or the 5% doctrine is that we, or that a council of men wrote history in advance 25,000 years, every 25,000 years they write it. And they're also saying that this was written and that it was predestined based on what was written. So that was a choice on behalf of our people, right? So how could you criticize Kanye West, but yet on another end, agree with him? This is cognitive dissonance and Kanye's fuck shit just draws a light on other people's fuck shit. So that's what I want to talk about, family. How do y'all feel about the Hebrew Israelites saying that because we went in slavery is because of us choosing to break the laws and the statutes and commandments of the Most High? And how does that fit into Kanye West's statement that slavery is a choice? Is Kanye right? Is the Israelites right? Is the nation of Islam right? Did our people make a choice and choose slavery? I humbly disagree.